install SQL Server on Node C and Node D. And so if I open and see the full screen, now my SQL Server instance is installed. And what we are going to do is we are going to enable the always on uh, future into this SQL Server instance. So what we can do is first I want to show you one option. Um, we need to set up enable the failover. So if I go back and enable the properties and you can see here this computer is not in a node for failover cluster. So to enable the always on for any replica, that replica must be added into the failover cluster node. So it doesn't mean that, I mean, in typical traditional uh, failover cluster, you on the two nodes. And if anything fail, it will automatically come up. So, but always on each replica, which is called as each node is independent, but that independent node must be in the part of the failover. So it doesn't mean that if A node B node uh, is failure, then it automatically turn on node. It's not, but it is going to be part of that node. Then we can enable the always on. Either we can use the manual or automatic um, enabled feature uh, whenever it is goes something happened into the node A or node B. So first what I can do is I have to go back into the server manager and enable the failover cluster feature. So I, I already did that as well. And we already know this feature how to enable. So now you can see first you have to in, uh, install the failover clustering on two nodes. So I install SQL Server and failover cluster in node D as well as node C. So these two nodes have now failover cluster feature. And also we enab um, we added a SQL Server installation. And here again, I have to show you the um, the SQL Server Configuration Manager. And then you can see the SQL Server services. Then you can see we need to do the same thing. And again, I install the failover cluster feature. You can see here failover cluster manager. And now second step, what we can do is we'll go to node A and or node B. So we already defined the cluster setup here. Here we are going to add those two nodes, node C and node D in this part, but those are independent. So we are not going to use the shared disks for those two nodes. We are going to use a different shared disks for those nodes. So what we can do is we will add a node and I'm going to browse this. So don't confuse here. We are just adding these two nodes in the part of this cluster, but we are not using any shared disk. And this is not the part of failover cluster for these two nodes. Just we are adding into the part of this. So yes, when I click next configuration validation test, then you can go into the um, uh, validating the process. So click next. So we don't need any uh, do this. So I'm going to click uh, back. No, I don't want to do anything. And just we are adding the, the nodes into this. So if you are creating a failover cluster or using the shared drive, then yes, you have to um, add that. But currently we are not doing anything. Just we are adding the nodes uh, into this cluster setup group. So. So here we added the nodes uh, D and D. And so these two nodes have independent disks. So we can use either local disks or anything for the database. But these two nodes must be in the part of the single cluster group. So here these two nodes are traditional failover. Any node is go uh, something wrong, then it will come up. But these two are just added nodes and we are uh, using for always on. And this disks, which is using only node A and node B, we are not using any shared disk for C and D. Now let me go to the node D and 
if I go back into this and properties and now you can see um, uh, this is the uh, cluster which we already added this node now I can enable so this is one of the important question that if you need to enable that any always on available group that node must be in the part of the cluster so I'm going to click apply and here we are going to restart the services we're going to do the same uh, option for node C as well and if I go to the node C and open the properties of the SQL Server and now you can see and enable apply and then you need to restart the services okay so now we restarted uh, two services let me enable if you want to do it I can enable this so it is better I would like to enable and start this process okay then we can do same thing for node C as well because this process is restarting so we would like to restart this Then I'm going to open the properties. Then start this. So now you can see we are enabled and restart the process. Then what we can do is we will go to the always on um, node A and then we will start enable the always on group for this. So I'm going to node A and I'm going to connect my SQL Server instance. So I think we are using the node B for this time uh, in the cluster. So we already started. So let's see which role is currently working on node B. So we will use this always on availability group for node B. I'm going to refresh this.